guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to a very special episode tonight. We are doing a collaboration with my good friends Lee and Jeremy Massey. And uh, it was pretty funny this morning I got a phone call. <laughs> Her chances. I know, serious. It's a weekend, so she, well, uh, maybe, uh, she might be painting. She might be painting. She's probably in the garden. Hello? Hey! Hey, hey Mina, it's Lee and it's Jeremy. Studio. How you doing? Hi, great. How are you guys? Mina, we're doing great, but we are kind of got a mental block and we have no idea what to do in the studio, so we thought we'd give you a call, see if you've got any advice. Mm. You know what? We could do a collaboration. That would be so awesome. A collaboration? That would be amazing. <laughs> I would love to do a collaboration. Absolutely. But if we're going to do a collaboration, then I need you to use this. Oh my God, that sounds like so fun. Awesome, I would love to use a shovel, but then I'm gonna need you guys to use my cup. Okay, we sure. can do that. We Absolutely. can use the jug, we love the jug. Love the jug. But if we're gonna use the jug, then you've, you've gotta pick the colors. I can do that. That sounds awesome, I can definitely do that. All right, well we're, we're up for the challenge, Mina. Thank you so much. Happy painting, make yes. it a good one. Talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye, you guys. I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what colors I'm using and my canvas. The canvas is a 36 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. It is, the back is taped and the push pins are in. So this is all set and ready to go. I'm going to show you my colors now that I have picked for us. And they are actually my favorite colors. So, you know, if you're going to do it, do it how you want it. So this first one is Golden's Payne's Gray. And my paint is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and some GAC 800 because it's a big canvas and I don't want to take a chance on anything cracking. So that's the Payne's Gray. I also have Decoart Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Everything is leaving a slight mound on a mound. It's not super, super thick though because I do want this to be able to move. Um, next one is also Golden's. This one is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. I love this color. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Okay. Then we have Golden's Iridescent Pearl. The cloud. <laughs> and I did just put a tiny bit of the DecoArt Satin Enamels in here in pure white. Just about a teaspoon. So, okay. And the last color we are using is also our base coat. This is Golden's Prussian Blue. I'm gonna have a hard time choosing between which one of these two I like better, the Payne's Gray or the Prussian Blue. So this is awesome. I love this color. So and we're using that as our base coat, which I'm going to put on after I layer my cups. Okay, so I'm gonna push this out of the way just a tiny bit. And I'm going to layer two cups at the same time. And we're gonna get started. Okay, so so the first thing I'm going to do is put a tiny bit of Payne's Gray in the bottom because this is going to end up being the center of the ring pour, which I want to do in the cups. And a little bit more than that. Okay. Then we're going to put a very, very small amount of gold. Very small layer. And now we're going to put some of our iridescent pearl. I'm going to come into our fresh and blue. There's a little bit more fresh and blue. And some of our permanent violet. I don't want super, super thick layers of anything. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of gold on the other side of that. And another little white, the iridescent pearl. Some Prussian blue this time. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so our cups are layered now. That's awesome. Very cool looking. I'm happy with that. All right, awesome. Now I'm gonna put down the base coat on our canvas. So this is just about perfect. We are gonna get the dustpan now on loan from our good friend Lee. <laughs> I'll give it back in good shape, I promise. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of our base coat, Payne's Gray, in there. Just sort of slide it around so that our paint has something to slide on easy. God, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I know less. That's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so, which way do I wanna go? I think I kinda wanna go maybe like across the corner and this way. All right, because I really wanna stretch out those lines. So I'm gonna start it. For our other cup. Well, that's so pretty. All right. I think I want to pour this one this way. See how it goes different. You ready? Eh? I'm gonna go over this edge right here where I screwed up.
So that's pretty cool. Let's tilt this puppy out and see what happens. So when I was thinking about how I wanted to pour it, I was watching Sarah Mack. We love Sarah who was the absolute inspiration for when Lee, and Jeremy, when Lee did a dustpan. And she does these gorgeous ones, like across the top, and then just really stretches out those lines. So I just really love watching her. It's amazing. So let's see. Let's take this. This one is probably better. So let's take it and see if we can't go. Maybe we'll lose some of this, but we'll keep the first one. Open this up just a bit more because we're getting some really cool cells in here. that off and open this up or should I leave it? Is it kind of cool that there's two? No, I like you. Take it off. Take it off? Take it all off, baby. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Sorry, Trevor, I was right here. <laughs>
like it. I like all the lines up here. I like the lines in the center. I like the gold. I like the paint. It's gray. I like that little bit of white in the center. I love all the cells that are popping up in there. That's amazing. Off. We're going to torch it. We've got it one more time. Let's see what you think. What do you think? Can it go this way anymore? Take it down more? Mm -hmm. A bit more. I do like the negative space though. Most balanced if that was right about the one third line. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, like okay. it. All right. Wipe my hands, torch it, and we're done. That's awesome. That was really fun. I really like the dustpan. I think that was a really cool vehicle to spread out and stretch the ring pour. And we still see some of our first one. I really like this. I love that part. Okay. Let's stretch this. Awesome. I love these cells. That's the cutest part. This is beautiful. This is really great. This is amazing right here. This is very cool. Like a straight pour. And uh, so I'm hoping that violet will tone itself down just a little bit. Kind of got a little pinkish. Magenta-ish. <laughs> I've got a lot of gold up here, but this is really beautiful. I love panes and pressure blue. Like, this is so pretty. And I love that bottom. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. So, huge thank you to Lee and Jeremy and Sarah, of course, for, uh, you know, the dustpan pour. It's an awesome idea. This is really pretty. There's all these little cells coming up in here. Very, very cool stuff. So, I will show you guys, though, this one when it's dry. Let's check in on Lee and Jeremy and see how they're doing. We'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take my comb and I'm gonna go ahead and wreck it. Let me go to this bottom corner first. So now with the 24 carat, and pouring this from a height, because what that's going to do is allow the colors to mix. So that is my first dirty cup. Let's start tilting. see how much wow they're moving really good is on this canvas I'm kind of walking it down yeah oh my 
my goodness. <laughs> so this is a few days later now and it is dry. I am just thrilled with this piece. I love how it came out. I love the Prussian blue on the bottom and the negative space. I love all these gorgeous cells in here. I love these lines. So cool. And that worked amazingly well with the, the darker center, the Payne's gray at the very, very center with some of the Prussian and then the gold and then the white. Really, really beautiful. I love these lines up here. This part is just, this is the part I was drooling over while it was wet. <laughs> very cool stuff. I love this. I really love this. So I'm very, very pleased, especially with all these cool little cells down here. And the magenta, the, the permanent violet did tone itself down a little bit. There's still some bright areas, but that's fine. I love this over here with the gold on top of that pink is really pretty. And the permanent violet here with the Prussian blue and the Payne's gray just make gorgeous lines. Really, really cool. Kind of big bouldery cells, almost like a rose in the center. What HOA was saying. <laughs> but this is awesome. I'm so happy with this and I love I love the composition. I love that technique. The dustpan was really, really cool. There's a whole bunch of things I want to play with that with now. <laughs> Huge thank you to Sarah Mack for her dustpan pours that were inspiring and amazing. And Lee and Jeremy Massey for their idea to do a collaboration. This was so much fun. I had a great time with them. The two of them are just they're so funny. So talking with them is always a lot of laughs. They're awesome. And we have some other cool surprises coming up for you guys. So stay tuned. <laughs> but I love this piece. I really just it might be one of my favorite things that I've ever done. And it just worked. You know, the, the negative space worked. I think I had my consistency right finally. Finally, finally. <laughs> So this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. You know, go check out Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studio and uh, go watch their video because you can see the end of their, their dried pieces. So I hope you guys had fun today. I sure did. This was awesome. So thank you all so much. We will see you guys for the next one. Have a beautiful day.